Okay, let's do it. This was the fly we were going for. The partridge fly with some green uh, stuff going on underneath. So when it, get, when it gets wet, it's gonna be all, all transparent and uh, fish-like. At least that's what, that was my idea. And the dubbing I'm using has uh, some green stuff in it as well. But I'll start by making a little tail and I'm taking a fairly big uh, large uh, partridge feather. I'm just gonna snip off all the petals on each side. To make a little bunch of partridge feathers fibers it is and uh, form a tail that's it and I'm gonna need uh, three sets of um, partridge uh, on this fly but first I'm gonna put in some some of this Lagertun uh, pearl quite as you can see quite narrow uh, mini flat rate uh, where I ended my little tail. Now I got this ready for later. Then I'm gonna take my dark tan lace and send it up. And this is quite uh, long in the fiber, as you can see. So while I tied the other one I just showed you, I came up with a, an idea how to to tie this, I don't know if it makes sense to you, but I'll show you when you get when we get there. First, I'm gonna just take like a even layer of dubbing, and it's not more than half a centimeter or so. I'm just gonna. Stop it, like that, secure it. And then I'm gonna take my my whip, Lagertun whip, and just go two, uh, two wraps around the, the dubbing I just did and secure that as well. Then a little bit further ahead and where I am now, I'm gonna take a, a partridge feather. I made, just made one already, a small one here. I'm gonna take three of them in a similar size. I don't want to, I want, don't want, want them too big. You could, if you're really into it, uh, start by finding a partridge feather that's just a little bit bigger than the, than the other two to start with. A little bit smaller, sorry, to start with, and then go a little bit bigger on the next one, and the one in the front should be the biggest one just to get a little taper going. I could just, I guess, clip off the, cut off the, the rib here and the, all the dubbing. And then I should have to, I start all over all the time. And I'm gonna do it in almost one this fly without cutting anything. And I'm gonna go with my partridge here. And pull back. Partridge is such a nice uh, material for coast flies, in my opinion. One of my favorites, to be honest. Um, I use this more than I use bay feathers and all that very expensive stuff. I think it is worth though to buy uh, some nice um, partridge um, feathers, not just one of those bags, uh, because uh, when I do that, the uh, feathers aren't really great in that bag. Uh, then there was the first set of, of uh, first haggle, then I'm gonna take my thread into the dubbing again and just go again further. Forward. Again, half a centimeter or so, and an even layer. And when I'm satisfied with that, I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna stop right there and go to reps with my dagger tool. And then the flat break here. Tie that in. See, this is going fast. I think you get the picture now, right? So now it's time for our another fitter I prepared in advance. Cheater. And just tie that in and nice and slow. Like that. And let it secure. I take my pliers and just go nice and easy tie in this next haggle Ooh. these are quite small these uh Ugh. Not satisfied with this anymore. I'm just gonna try to save it. Just a sec. Actually, have room for four on this one. Four sets of uh, feathers. And then it's uh, getting hold of the rub dubbing again. And just continue. Half a centimeter. Actually, is room for four, four sets. Yeah, there we go. Going one, going two. Tying it in. Yep, okay, and this time I can see that's not going to be enough. Sending me to stop anyway, so I just cut it off and. Uh, And even got another partridge feather prepared in advance. Who should have thought? There we go. Them. Putting a bit back here and just getting a, get a few reps. I'm going to take a little bit more of my sinew laser dub. To 
find the last, the last there. I can see I'm just gonna go once this time because I'm running low on room to tie on. I'm cutting off my Lagatun mini flat braid and I'm just gonna quickly get another fitter in the same size as the, as the other ones, hopefully. For this fly, I'm not going to brush a lot of the dubbing underneath uh, out because it's in behind all the the rip and stuff. Stuff, but uh, the partridge feather is going to be the it's going to do the make the fly do uh, transparent in the water in the water when it gets wet. Then you're going to get the green from the the green. Um, The green, uh, pearl green uh, flat braid. Gonna shine through the partridge and give them the green color. That we know all all fish have has and it's just a little bit of securing. I can see the the last uh, last partridge feather was maybe a little bit bigger than the other one. Maybe that's good. Gonna finish. Got that one. And then at the very end, I'm just gonna take a little bit of orange thread. I don't know if it meant as much, but I I like to I like that in there. Gives a bit of a maybe a strike point. Hopefully they're not gonna go for this though. <laughs> but you never know. Maybe I attract some, make some, make some uh, attracts, you know. Get the trout uh, interested. And that's about it, boys and girls. Um, a little fly with what ended up, ended up as four sets of partridge hackles on a size six light stinger hook with some senior laser dub and some lager tun as rib underneath. Then you're just, just gonna secure it with some varnish up here and then you're done. That was it. That's this, I really have hope, I have hope for this one. Uh, for this one, to be honest, I think it is, uh, it's gonna make a lot of Small big fish and uh, goobies in the shallows. So that was it. Uh, leave a comment and uh, hopefully subscribe as well and get ready for even more content. I got more ideas coming. See you later.